出来上がり混ぜると無駄にうまくなるすすらなくていいから食べさせやすいおいしい麺と飯どっちが好き、ね、ふらふらとにかくファーストバイト、ねセンジ I don't usually do this since status resistance is a relatively old mechanic, but I will explain what it does briefly. Status resistance reduces the duration of a lot of debuffs. It's not that simple though, and it kinda goes beyond the topic of this video, but for instance, Poison Nova only deals damage over time, so the duration is not reduced. A spell like Viper's Auto, that deals damage over time and slows, will still do the same damage to a hero that has a lot of status resistance and a hero that doesn't, but the slow ends faster for the hero with status resistance, and there's a lot of little intricacies that we can talk about. Stuns work the same too. Skills like Primal Roar, Slark's Pounce, a full duration Lion combo can be devastating and they are very hard to deal with if a carry does not have a Lincolns. A lot of the times you don't want to get a Lincolns on a hero like Jug or PA. The answer for that, or at least one of the answers, is status resistance and we will talk about it but before I get there we need to talk to a few exceptions like Black Hole and Chronosphere. You cannot reduce the duration of these spells because they are things that exist and it doesn't make sense that Chronosphere affects a hero for longer than another one. So the change in this patch is that skills like these have pretty much one itemization only and that is A on disc, but this is for another video. And now we will talk about when and why pros are going for the Kaya Sanja, Sanja Nyasha and Halberd. The item that changed the least, at least in my opinion, was Halberd. Yeah, you don't have main anymore, and while well, that's great, the real differential that is still the core of the item is a long duration disarm that cannot be dispelled even by Gaben himself. The item is still great against the likes of OD, Slarks, PAs, Svens, you name it. Now, here's the thing, this item was a hard counter to those heroes since 3 to 5 second disarm duration in late game scenarios means an entire BKB getting wasted. In this new era though, with items like Say and Satanic, you can easily acquire 42% status resistance, which means that the Halberd duration is now a measly 1.2 seconds if you have both of them. So yeah, Heaven's Halberd still counters right clickers, but it can itemize against it, especially those that have the luxury of being able to build both items. Sanjin Yasha is a weird item now, but at the same time it serves a purpose that Manta was never able to serve. Take Resolution playing PA in these two different games. In this one he goes Manta and he is against Adaptive Strike, that he can Manta dodge, Root, that he can Manta dodge, and they have only one BKB piercing ability, the Corrosive Haze, that he can also take out. The status resistance from the Sanjin Yasha or the extra HP doesn't make sense here. Take this other game though, they have a Spirit Breaker that can lock you down for about 4 seconds with Charge plus Ult, and while you can say that Lincoln seems like a better answer for that, just compare the other stats that the items give. Besides Mana Region and Intelligence, Say is way superior in every other aspect and just offers what a PA wants and costs 1000 gold lights. The status resistance also works against every single disabled that Dyer has, and that's the beauty of status resistance. It's not uncommon to see players getting a Sanjin Yasha after a BKB. Heroes like Beastmaster, Mag have cast points in their abilities and while you can react with BKB, sometimes that lockdown by itself is enough to take you down. In late game fights where half a second means you surviving, popping that BKB and Satanic and turning it around or dying really demonstrates the role that this item has in this meta of offering you damage, offering you farm possibilities and at the same time providing something unique that against the right composition can be game winning. You know, we are talking a lot about PA here, but status resistance can be good in a lot of different heroes. Even intelligence heroes can go for Kaya Sanj, 
especially heroes with key spells when they are not against heroes like Enigma and Void. Look at this Topson game right here. He's going for Kaya Sanj when he could easily go for Kaya Yasha. The move speed is amazing in a hero like this, but there's one thing that status resistance that we did not mention yet. Status resistance affects Grimstroke ult in a pretty interesting way. Unlike, let's say, Shackle Shot, where each target on the Shackle Shot will have a different stun duration depending on their own status resistance, if, let's say, Topson is the hero that is the main target for Soulbind, he will be able to reduce the duration of the spell by 1.5 seconds on both targets. When you consider that even BKB cannot deal with this, and that you're affecting two heroes, so that's three seconds, that is just an amazing purchase because you already want to get the Kaya anyways. While BKB can, in some scenarios, help you, it needs to be activated beforehand, it costs 4,000 gold, Yasha and Kaya are items in high demand, and the fact that you can add a Sand to it, making you tankier and harder to be locked down can be huge. Obviously, I'm not saying you have to go for the item every game, but a couple of good heroes to build this item against are supports like Shadow Shaman and Lion that have instant cast points and build Blink Dagger, BKB piercing abilities like Berserker's Call, RP, and Primal Roar, you name it. Remember, Dota is all about preference and what you believe in. You don't have to build Sanj ever if you don't like it, but one extra myth that I want to dismystify is Sanj and Yasha being an early game item that you just go for after your Yasha. For instance, Troll is probably the carrying dispatch that builds, say, the most out of any other hero. The crazy thing is that a lot of times the item is finished after BKB. Since with your ult you never die, in a way it can be a waste to use your BKB when you ult because you have no control over your hero. Status resistance allows Troll to make the most out of his ult for 2000 gold, while also making use of an item that almost every Troll always goes for, which is Yasha. Status resistance and BKB are also not mutually exclusive. Look at this game here. Crit is playing Troll versus a Blade Mail Axe, a Meepo that has a Halberd. Status resistance is crucial here because even if the Meepo gets the Halberd off before BKB, it will last for very little time, as we talked about in the beginning of the video. That's also true for Oracle's W, Rubik's Arcane Ability, you name it. Status resistance is not the be all and all thing people make it to be, but in the correct game, it can win you games, and I think that's more than fair. X Blade Mail call for way too long counter right click heroes in almost a broken way. Status resistance allows these heroes to deal better against it. Maybe we will see numbers being tweaked, but I like to be able to skip A on this on a PA just because, you know, I'm playing against an axe. Guys, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing in this video. While I know you guys really like my videos, I would really appreciate if you guys could follow me on my Twitch. I'm casting games every single day, and getting good viewership could help me to become a Dota 2 talent. I also have a Patreon where you can get something in return while also helping me with this dream that I have. I have a Twitter where I talk Dota and memes. I have a Twitch where I play and cast. I already talked about it. And if you care about it, I have an Instagram and a Discord channel that you can check out. Thank you all, guys. Hope you have a good day. Bye.